One of the, I think, highlights of clinical education at Yale Law School is the opportunity to enroll in clinics starting in your second semester of your first year. It was a big motivator for me when I was choosing law schools, but now that I'm on the other side as a clinical law professor, I absolutely love working with first years. Sometimes it means that I'm gonna work closely with a student for five semesters, watch them grow, engage in various forms of advocacy, and see the path of, you know, an arc of clinical education and where it can go. But for law students, given the, you know, just the sheer number of clinical opportunities at the law school, having the ability to enroll in a clinic in the second semester of your first year also allows you to really try on different things and see what fits or what doesn't fit. I have been doing work um, with people with mental disabilities for a while now, both here at the law school through the Worker and Immigrant Rights Advocacy Clinic and the Criminal Justice Advocacy Clinic, two clinics that I've been co-teaching for some time, but also prior to coming to law school. That said, I'd been doing the work as a criminal defense attorney with some a client that has mental health needs or as an immigration case, but also has some mental health issues involved in it. And I got to the place in my career in teaching where I thought, you know, this really deserves attention as mental health. That is, it didn't make sense to me to be treating it as primarily something different and only mental health as a secondary issue. So we do criminal defense of people who are diagnosed with a mental health condition. And at the same time, we're also doing advocacy for people who are subject to psychiatric detention or what is commonly referred to as civil commitment. In addition to that, we also do policy or community advocacy. So legislative work, advising community organizations. Fundamental to the model of uh, the clinic, that is that students engage both in litigation and in policy advocacy, is that is a belief that lawyers should be multidimensional and nimble, that sometimes the best advocacy isn't in the place where you originally thought you'd be doing the advocacy and you need to shift. And I'm committed to teaching students a diverse set of skills and promote that by through the model that the clinic has. My work in the Criminal Justice Advocacy Clinic has really focused on de-densification of prisons during the pandemic. You know, the pandemic hit in, you know, in the United States in early 2020, and by, you know, early April, we knew that it was absolutely a disaster for people who are incarcerated where there is no option to de-densify given the population um, that is imprisoned. So for the past few years throughout the pandemic, CJAC students have focused um, in, in supporting and engaging in attempts to de-densify prisons here in Connecticut, both through litigation and policy advocacy. On the litigation side, CJAC was involved in really exciting and impactful litigation um, filed in April of 2020 um, on behalf of individuals detained at the sole federal prison in Connecticut. It is one of the early prisons identified by the Bureau of Prisons and by the Attorney General, then Attorney General Barr, as a hotspot for COVID outbreaks. We filed a lawsuit. Um, we won uh, a temporary restraining order on behalf of people who are medically vulnerable to serious illness or death from getting COVID and reached a class-wide settlement with the Bureau of Prisons on behalf of those who are medically vulnerable for a process for identification and uh, speedy determination for eligibility from release. Students worked on various aspects of this litigation, both in providing um, litigation support and once the class-wide settlement was signed and in effect, engaging in class management, oversight of um, the settlement and ultimately enforcement of the settlement in federal court. What I found in my clinics um, in 2020 and really during the pandemic is that students um, thrived on the opportunities to do something that felt potentially meaningful when so many things around the country felt so hard.